but they're trying to get more mainstream as well with like Huffington Post articles. But again, it's all like blogging, so it blogs. All right, we'll find yeah. them. Okay. Uh, today is January. And it was WordPress. And you know the site itself looks really good. I had I had I worked with someone. I hired someone to help me with the, uh, the layout. It's just me now. So the audience targeting. Do you know it all? No, I don't. That's I guess. What right. I mean. I, no, no I, it's fine. I, I, I just need yeah. to know because then I can find so that. Like stuff. Anyone interested in science and entertaining and just, okay? Like, Do you know if you have uh, Search Console access or anything like that? I have no idea. I used to do analytics. Oh, so you do have it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I guess that's what. <laughs> that's fine. All right. So we'll just take the website. Uh, if I can find it, there it is. Go in here. And Brian, if you want to just wait till next meetup, I could probably do this for you guys too. Yeah, great. Um. <clears throat> okay, so here it is. First of all, we want to take off that bar at the top. Okay. Because we don't really want everybody, unless you have users on this site. We do. Oh, you do? Okay, yeah. then keep that. That's fine. Um, Actually, may as well wait until Oscar builds our Yeah. But, yeah. but I, I mean, I'd love to work with you in the future stuff because, you know, I do need updating on a lot of things. And I had one web designer, but then they, <clears throat> they quit their job for the company and they went back to school. And then I brought another one and she's just MIA all the time. And right. So. So we're going to open up a few things. Do you know how large this site is? Okay, we'll find out right now. Why is it this load? Okay, that's going. So that's going to crawl everything on your site. Now while we're doing that, we're going to open up this other thing. Here. And this is going to build a map for you so we can see what is going on with your site. Okay, cool. So while that stuff's going, uh, we're going to go in here. Or in there, sorry. And put one down here too as well. I forgot to put this. So you don't have a fav icon on your site, which is like that little button, or I'll show you. It's this little thing right here at the top. So we want to put that up there. It's just really basic stuff. Oh, I thought I did. I guess it went away. I, I did in the beginning. I guess I don't know. It's That's fine. Okay. okay, cool. So let's just check out the first stuff. So site okay. redirects to preferred version. So that means one redirects to the other. So let's do www. So that redirects to that one, and we can check with our little tool called Mozbar to see if that's true. Yep. And let's see if you have an HTTPS version. Is that Mozbar free? Yes. So that doesn't redirect. So we want to make sure we do that. So we'll do boom, redirect, robot, so text, we'll check in a second. And then on the HTTP status, we want to uh, where is it? I thought it was in here. So let's just go. Oh, it's because I said it was SSL. There it is. That needs to be fixed. Um, and then the note is need to add redirect. Cool. Uh, let's check if you have a robots.txt. You do. Let's 
good. Anything that's X means it's good, Z means it's bad. We're going to check if you have a site map. Yep, and it looks like this is good. All right, I'm assuming you don't have AMP. We'll just check. You're just like, what are you talking I'm, about? I, I'm, it's a new language thing, but I, I just want to learn it. It's ex called accelerated mobile pages, which is what Google uses to like make your pages lo load instantly on their servers. Uh, okay. So we'll do site call and see what you have indexed to go check your blog pages. So there's a blog page. Because usually AMP is on your blog pages. Okay. So not on that one. Let's check this one. Nope. So that's fine. You don't really need it unless you want to use it later. It's kind of a new thing Google came out with. Okay. So it makes your site run faster you need or, or load faster? Uh, yeah, your blog post posts instantly on mobile. Okay. Search console access we need, analytics access we need, Google My Business. Do you even have that? No. Uh, Bing search console we need to set up. I'm assuming you don't have that. Website access. Okay. All right, indexation. So this is where we see what you're indexing on your site. So let's go ahead and see your architecture really quick. Oh, shoot, this is a big site. Holy cow. Okay, hold on. So yeah, I hit my limit on this. Uh, let's see what you got. I'm going to export these. Bring this over here. here. So we want to upload all these exports so we can keep track of them because okay. basically when you do these audits you want to at the same time like have the things that you find as the solution. So if somebody does an audit for you and they're not like really keeping track of what they're finding then there's really no point in doing the audit. Right. So these are all the links we found so far. There's probably there's obviously more. Um, so first of all, you can see here, uh -huh. all these status codes mean that the pages are working. If we see status codes that say 404, that's a problem. Okay. But it looks like a lot of your pages are fine. There was some 301s there, but this is like a huge site, uh, yeah. at least of what's being indexed. But the reason for this is because there's so many different variations of the site. There's the HTTP and the HTTPS. Okay. Um, well, I also have a, a boasnetwork.org, which I need to get so to contract with someone. Like, and we are a nonprofit, but they said, well, you're not an org, so we're not going to give you money. I said, okay, so I'll create an org. So they, they redirect to each other. That's so, ridiculous. I, I said, you know, tedtalks.com is a nonprofit. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> All right, well, let's check out what you're ranking for because right now you have a ton of pages and some of them are tags, which is one of the things we want to check right here. And I know index these things unless you have a really good purpose for them or if you're ranking for a lot of them. Wow, what the heck? Oh, there we go. Jesus. What? Is that bad? You have. Oh, sorry. I thought those were your referring domains. I thought oh. it said 17 million. I was like, Holy yeah, that'd be awesome, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> depends. So you got some organic keywords. Okay. You're ranking for some of this stuff, but let's see how much of this stuff you're ranking for with a tagged page. I don't think so. So all of these are posts. None of them are tags. Right. I don't have. Are these all came from the mod bar? A, no, Ahrefs. Yeah. yeah. No, this tool's amazing. This would be like one, this and Cora are like the two tools that I'd recommend anybody who does this. Yeah, in the template, if you get this, when you enter that, 
the course I sent you, there's a download link, and if you get it, it'll have all of the tools that I'm using in here with video explainers that I'm going to be making soon. I guess my question is, like, each time I upload a video, do I have to show you, create a whole bunch of... There's this part that says, S, you know, do your SEO on this, and then there's also the internal tags that you do. And that's all... I mean, is it, you have videos that explain all what to do on, on that? Um, for the videos? Well, each time, I mean, if, oh, well, I'll, I'll, I can ask you to do it. I know you're doing this. Yeah, so I mean, I'll get to that, I guess. Okay. Uh, so yeah, first of all, let's go look. We don't want to index tags, which you are. Whoa. Um, we're going to say Z on that. Specific URL problems. Let's see. Or sorry, authors. Let's see if you're indexing authors. Because every time you put these pages on your website, uh -huh. you're going to get multiple uh, posts in, in all these different categories. Okay. Which is a problem because you only want to have one post per category. So I don't think you're indexing authors, so that's fine. Dates. So let's see if you're indexing dates. Doesn't look like it. Multiple categories per post. <clears throat> so if we look at this, I want to make sure that this isn't showing up in different places. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to run something called SiteLiner, which is going to show all the duplicate content throughout your site. And basically, you don't want to have duplicate content on your site because the more unique you can make your content, the better Google trusts you and like knows which pages to rank. So while that's going, let's see if we can look at this here. Pause it there. Boom, this is what we got. So here we got your home page. These are your other main pages. Mm -hmm. So we can see here that the internal link structure is kind of crazy because you have all of these connected to one thing when there should be more internal links going throughout this. That's what I, I got from you were saying earlier. Like, yeah. So with each video I should do is like go back to the main page, like hold it back. To home page, I mean? Well, yeah, I mean, where it makes sense, you basically want to look at it from like, a user experience standpoint where, like, if somebody goes to your site, what are, like, related things that you want to show them, you know? Okay. Uh, yeah, so we'll just keep that for now. And that's going there. Let's go back in here. Um, so for the specific URL problems, uh, let's see if you're... So these words are way too long. Uh, you should only have three to five yeah, words per year. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, these blog posts should be connected to categories usually. Uh, some people don't do that. So how do I, I don't know how to change that. What do I do? So that's, I, guess, I mean, this goes in with, uh, with like. So, is, I mean, that's, I guess that's, so I should come to the next class is what you're saying. Because like, those, those are some of the issues that. It says like yeah, change your meta tag or title tag, and is that what you do? Or? Yeah, so I mean, in the that beginner to advanced course, uh, I have a video that goes through yeah, okay. that. Um, how to do that. Okay. Let me go back over here. How long is that video? Mm, I could look. About an hour. Uh, I think so. Yeah, it's like all of them are like I think thirty minutes to an hour. Okay. It's this one right here. Whoops. And since you're in the group, I'll just put a link for you. Uh, it's right here. So three to five words per URL categories. You want to be really careful, though, when you do this stuff. Uh -huh. Because um, what you can end up doing is you can end up... Uh, like, so for instance, changing your whole website structure, 
and then not doing redirects, which means you lose all of the like influence that those pages have if you don't do yeah, a redirect. Yeah, the pages don't have that much influence yet. That's what I mean. That's why. I'm... Well, that's what you think, yeah. but if you look at them right now, some of them do have a good amount. Like okay. this one, this one has, uh, you know, decent authority. Okay. And we could actually take all of those URLs we found earlier, right here. Uh, these ones. Yeah. Shoot, a lot of these are not unique. No, so, so, yeah. I'm just saying you could take them and bulk upload them, and it'll actually show you what the different. So, like for instance, just this one alone right here. This one has uh, 24 uh, URL URL rating, which is like basically page rating. Okay. Um, and then this one over here. So, say you didn't do a redirect and you oh. had this one, and you just like change the URL structure. Google's going to count this as a brand new page when it has some influence on it. Oh, okay. And you can see it has backlinks. So okay. if somebody if somebody's linking to it okay. and you just read if you and you just change the structure, mm -hmm. you're gonna lose those links and it's gonna also bring down the authority of your entire site. Okay. But think about that if you did that Which in Which is I guess in all the future things I put up there also I can I can start making them sure that they I yeah. Right yeah, or or understand how to do the three, all, all these redirects beforehand. Yeah, I mean, we're just constantly uploading stuff and creating videos and other stuff, you know. So it's like yeah, I really have the time to go back with all of them. There. Yes, mm. exactly. Okay, so internal link structure. You gotta go, Brian? Yeah, I gotta take off. But this is good. I like seeing this tool. Very, very yeah. Good. I, I can see definitely use it in the future. Jen, if you need to leave too, you can, uh, or if if you need, if either of you guys need to leave. Yeah, I'm okay. You guys have a good weekend. I'll Thanks for coming by. Yeah, absolutely. See, see ya. Have a good one. Take care. Okay. Yeah, I, don't okay. Know, I, can, I can stay if you have more time. Yeah, I can. Okay. Can I have some other questions? <laughs> so, can you Oh, you can Wherever, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that I'm actually, let me ask you something. So now that I'm on, I'm on your group here, where are those videos? Thank you. Uh, it's in the pin tab. Yeah, maybe we'll see you again soon. Yeah. All right. It's, it's, uh, scroll down. Uh, there should be a pinned post. Can you see? Where the hell is the pinned post? Oh, you're in this, you're under discussion, that's one. So. Oh, that's one. I'll go to, oh. Yeah. Well, that's weird. It's still not there. Well, it's all in here in the videos. Oh, there you go. Okay. But there should be a. Uh, yeah, what happened to the pin post? I don't know. Um, maybe you can figure that out, Oscar. Okay. I'll look it up. Uh, well, then, okay, let me, uh, let me just ask because this stuff I have. Okay, yeah, because that's, well, I, I guess what I, let me go into my dashboard for a second now. Okay, so let me go to the internal link structure. So we already know that needs to be fixed. Site yeah. search. You internal have links. So, so yeah. and it also, and it also says your browser's out of date. Have to update Safari, I guess. Okay. Uh, um, I'm gonna go to a page for a Okay. Um, I'll show you two that I recently put up, but I didn't do any tagging at all. Um, What's up? So I just wanted to ask you a question here. So, okay, this is one I recently put up. Um, it was just a video, but then it has this thing here, right? It says the if infinite SEO, which I didn't, haven't done anything. It says like the title tag. Is that where I would change the... Yeah. The but I would probably meta use description, meta keywords, and all this stuff here. I mean, should I be filling it in on each post? Yeah, but I would probably use a different uh, plugin. Oh, okay. Yeah, ah. I'd probably use Yoast instead. All right, I don't even. So someone else set up all this for me, so I don't. Oh, Yoast, like Y O S T. Y O A S T. Yeah. Y O A S T. All right. So do I need to hire you? <laughs> so it's um, like, I mean, to, to like revamp my website, or you know, just because. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if there's other plugins that I need and everything else like that, and I can learn as much about SEO from your. Um, 
other videos. Um, yeah, it just depends on like how you know involved you want to get. Like, it's obviously you know important to do, but it's up to you like on like what you want to end up like spending you yeah. know your effort on. Well, let me ask you something because this is what they they put it right. Bella's network and. and it's a very long title. That's when they automatically give me right on, on this title tag. Right. So then I should change that, right? To make it just easier, like for Bowen's network. Dot com, and then So we're doing the page speed analysis right now. Okay. And we got a 4.7 second load time. Which is kind of long, isn't it? Uh, I mean, it's okay for WordPress. I mean, I've had, again, web people update and update it. Well, it could be a lot faster because there's yeah. like 211 requests, meaning that you're using a lot of stuff in there that you probably don't need to be. Okay. Um, And you can do image compression and browser caching and stuff like that. I think you missed the post updated somehow. I don't know if it was through the Facebook ban or. Oh, it probably did. It's like. That's wrong. weird though, because I'm looking at it right now. Look. It's right there. Like, I mean, I don't. Okay. Maybe I can just send it to you and you can repin something, because I think you're a moderator. Yeah. Don't see it. Get rid of this. All right. Um, let's go back to here. Uh, and then let's see the server speed. You know what you're using for hosting? We have. Um One of them is Cloudflare. Um, we have like two different things. And I think the other one is Bluehost. Bluehost is one thing, Cloudflare does another. Yeah, the, yeah Bluehost is the domain for Okay, it. that's the domain, so it's Cloudflare. Yeah. You're using Bluehost. Do you know what, what package you're on with them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see the waterfall. There's a lot of JavaScript. Let's check out server speed. I don't know why GT Metrics doesn't show me the server speed timings. So yeah, server response time is 1.2 seconds. So that's pretty slow. Probably want to upgrade there if we can. Upgrade server, so we can go. So is this a Cloudflare thing? Um, it's probably Bluehost. Okay, Cloudflare sucks. There's no one you can talk to there, by the way. Oh yeah. And because I'm trying to get it redirects to that dot com redirects to dot org and. They're like, sorry, your email account isn't associated with it. Well, yes, it is. So I don't, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even commu communicate with them if it's not on the phone. Yeah, that's how it used to be with me and like GoDaddy. I was like on a phone call one time for eight hours with them. All right, so we're going to go check out your images. And let's do alt tags. 
So all of these are missing alt tags, which we want to put in there. Remember how we talked about that's important. Alt tag. The, oh. oh, yeah, you want to make them all short. Okay. Well, no, we want to include alt tags on here to, like, say, you know, that this is about whatever it's about. Right, I, which none of my things do. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't yeah. know how to do that. So let me just ask you something. When I'm, so I might go to, I'm going to probably change the plugin to Yoast, but for now, I should be doing this. Like, so instead of saying biological anthropology in the public, it should just say, like, anthropology in the person, because that's the person doing the talk on this one. Yeah. To make it shorter. And then her meta description is basically the just a, a shorter summary of what the talk is about. Yeah, but you put the title tag as the URL right there. I do what? The title tag is supposed to be like the title. Like basically like a Word doc. I don't know what, you're, what this means. Okay. Uh, that, title, what do you do? that title tag is just yeah. supposed to be like a brief ex description of like like what people, so that's what people are going to click on in the search results. So if you look, scroll up right there, the preview, uh -huh. the title uh -huh. tag is the thing that they see that they click on and the meta description is like the brief description of that. Fine. Yeah, like an easy way to like kind of look at it, it's like the like when you look at Google results, like think of it like as a like a movie poster where you know the uh, the title right the title and the subtitle. Movie, yeah. It, it took me like I think about uh, eight months of watching Chase's tutorials before okay. I, I finally understood. Yeah, you're diving okay. in the deep end right now. <laughs> like this is like. Yeah, so don't feel. Number one. Oh God, where was I going? I heard. The cool thing though is like. You have this now. So then, so then my meta description can be a bit longer, right? So yeah, it can be up to like 155 characters. Okay, so I can actually just take even some of those here. Okay, and then the keywords are the, are the big thing, right? I wonder if there's a plugin that you can like export a bunch of stuff from Streaming Frog and just automatically feeds into your. Wouldn't that be sick? Is there a what? There's like a plugin that you could just automatically export all the stuff you're finding in Streaming Frog. It just plugs directly into Google Drive because that that way I wouldn't have to do all this stuff manually. Ah, get out of here, Oscar. Your notification. Okay. Maybe. So when they say the meta keywords, and it says I want to use post tags in addition to my keywords. You don't want to use meta keywords. That's what I was saying. I, don't, I wouldn't oh, use don't that. Oh, don't use meta keywords. Yeah. Okay, so I need to use what you're just saying. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would use that. Okay. Don't use. Let's so not even bother with that. Okay. And what's the kind of, yeah, the kind of, kind of, um, Canonical? Canonical yeah. <laughs> uh, I had a hard time saying that when I first learned it. Um, mm -hmm. It's basically like saying what the preferred version of your page is. So like if you have, for instance, multiple pages that say uh, like the same thing, you want to oh. point a canonical at the correct version of that page. Okay. So I'm not, so I'm not doing meta keywords. I don't, so there's nothing here for me to do keywords on this. Um, I mean, Right, isn't that what the SEO is about? Is yeah, but you don't want to use meta keywords. You just want to like uh, just use the keywords in your title and your meta descriptions and then your other on-page elements. Uh, oh, just in my meta. Okay, and then okay. But on my page tags, do these matter at all? When I'm doing like the tags for my page, I mean, 
Um, what? I mean, they, then they have a whole thing. Do you want tags here? But does that even matter for for people searching? Uh, no, you don't page? want to. That, those those are something we want to uh, no index. Like we want to get rid of those. We really do. Oh, okay. So I mean, got everything wrong. Well, right. I mean, <laughs> but that's how a lot of people start out. Is like they like learn stuff that's not necessarily helpful for them. Right. So all you say, all I'm focusing on is the title tag and the meta description, and those are the two things. Um. I mean, for yeah, for if you if you wanted to start doing the SEO, that would be like one of the two. Those would be two like main factors. Okay. Big factors. So then, where am I putting in all these keywords or anything or sites? It's just about internal linking is the big thing, is what you're saying. Um. Well, yeah. I mean, that's there's a bit. I'm trying to figure that stuff out right now. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. No, that's okay. I'll leave it up. Uh, let's Okay, schema markup. No. My microphone up. So we got some errors there. Fix that later. You know this site's mobile friendly? I believe, I believe it is. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that was the on page portion I just finished. Uh, there's still like other portions as well, like the okay. off page, the keyword research, yeah. um, competitor research, all that stuff. Okay. But all of this stuff takes a while to do. Um, and I tried to do that one as fast as I could. Um, so should I basically also have a thing on every oh, like I'm doing this here back like have a have a click back to home page and like link them all back to the home? To um, you can if you wanted to do that. It really depends on the goal. Like first of all, I would fix these like these issues um, that I've been finding before you fix like the page by page issues. So the issues are too long of title. Titles are too long on some of them. So yeah, I mean, if I were to filter right now, like watch, I would filter by Z to A. These are all the things that I found that you need to fix. Okay. So let me just get rid of this for a second. Move this down. One second. So site redirects to preferred version, that's something you need to fix ASAP. Site refer redirects to preferred version, what does that mean? Um, basically like your one version of your site, you have two versions of your site, so that means you're indexing like duplicate content across every single page. Why do I have multiple versions of my site? Wait, I don't know. Um, because whoever set up your hosting like didn't do it correctly. Huh. Yeah. Um, and then you want to get all these things like Search Console, Google My Business, Access, Bing Console Access, all that hold stuff. On, hold on, hold on. So well, this 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 roadmap I'm giving you, you'll have this. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
So all disease, basically? Oh, no, we're using yeah, a everything that's a Z, you should fix first. Oh, crap. That's a lot of fucking Zs. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to hire someone, because I don't... I, Um, well, yeah, I mean, like I said, if you don't want to be involved, like, we can help you with this stuff. Okay, I, I mean, I want to be involved, I, I want to learn, but that's, this is way over my head. I mean, I was saying, <laughs> I thought I was coming in to, like, understand how to use keywords, so. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> but that's why I was teaching you guys, like, okay. the basics, because, okay. like, it really depends on where you guys are at. Okay. I, I could tell that you want, you needed, like, some help with, like, uh, like a roadmap, so that's okay. why I did it. Um, but like I said, I mean, it might be a good idea, though, to, like, uh, uh, have this stuff fixed first and then start diving into like keyword research and start figuring out like what keywords you want to rank for. But I wouldn't even actually, I don't even know yet where to um, put in those, key I know you keep on having keyword research, but where would I then put in those? Because like, is it on the homepage? Well, meta description and do I change it to Yoast now instead? Well, that's what the what? keyword research portion's for. So we figure out like, uh, what your homepage we think you should be ranking for. Uh -huh. And then we like get all of uh, the data around like what would be a good keyword to rank for. So like for instance, like I'll show you like uh, one of the clients we're currently working with. Uh -huh. Let me go back here. So they have a uh, tree service business in Santa Barbara. They do like, they cut down trees and stuff. And their roadmap looks similar to yours. They had a lot of Z's too. Okay. Um, but if we look at the keyword research portion, you'll see like I took different competitors of theirs uh -huh. and I downloaded their keywords. Okay. And then I looked for what is the most common keywords that these people have. Okay. And you can see here it's like tree service. So then I figured out that their main keyword would be, you know, Tar target location Santa Barbara tree service. All right. Um, and then like their other pages, like their about page, all this stuff. All right. And then we figured out what their con what the pages are that they want to rank. Uh, you know, like all the all different right. pages. And then I also figured out like the different pages they should have on their website. Like for instance, uh, you can see here like they don't. They, this is all the pages they have, but they also need like other stuff like brush clearing and mulching and stump grinding, like that kind of stuff. But I found that by like doing all this research for them. Okay. So, for example, so if I go to my homepage here, and I want to, um, like I said, if I edit the front page, and I go to, and again, if I change it to Yoast or something here, and let's say I find the right keyword here, and there's the SEO thing at the bottom of this, right? Roadmap sales statistics. Well, like I said, okay, every so single... Is that, you, is that where I'm putting in? The, I put it in the meta description, or I don't even... So every keyword's different. Like if you look at this, like this is. Uh, oops. I mean, where am I putting that keyword to get the? So like this is the things. Like if you wanted to SEO a page, like I would say, you'd want to like we would get like you a Quora map, and then we'd like show like where you're deficient in like certain areas because every keyword's different. Okay. And we'd be like, okay, look, like we need more links coming in for, you know, with keyword matches, we need like schema markup, we need your H1 to your H3 tags to match, we need your body tags to match. And then like we get your, your site up so that it's not deficient and we uh, do this based on like the number one result or, or a combination of all the results but the number page one average. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's not just one thing, like you could change the title tags in my description, you might help, it might help you, but uh, it's like in terms of like doing the on-page SEO portion, yeah. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated. Okay. So I guess one of the problems I'm having also, you're talking about uh, have this, the site redirects to another version. And again, the person who helped me set this up in the first place, he did a lot of that and that he split, right? So I don't, I can't even get in touch with Cloud there. Yeah. Okay, is there a way to just drop them and get a new someone else to host this without messing up the site? Well, if you have Bluehost, we can get in contact with them. Okay, but they told me in terms of like, again, when I wanted to change from .org to, I mean, dot .com to .org, and they said, no, you have to do that through Cloudflare. I'm like, I don't even know what Cloudflare is, and I don't know who set it up that way. And I tried to get in touch with them, and they said, we can't help you because your email isn't associated with us. So right. I don't know how to <laughs> even go from there. 
Right. And I don't know if it's, if so the, is this a Bluehost problem of why I'm having two sites for some reason? Well, or? no, it's just in the settings. Like, you literally just go into the Bluehost settings and you say, like, I want to redirect one version to the other. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a quick fix. A oh. lot of this stuff is, like, so a actually... a lot of these are quick fixes? Okay, so what yeah. do you charge? Do you do this? Do you, uh, do you know yeah, we, does? Yeah, we or, do that. Okay. Um, so, generally, we charge by, like, packages of, like, okay. five to ten hour kind of things. Um, I actually haven't set it up yet because I need to set this up in here. Uh, but our pricing lately has been uh, like 140 an hour for five hours. And then for 10 hours, we'll bring it down to like 125. And then if you bring by like 20 hours, we'll bring it down to like 110. All right. Well, we're a nonprofit and we're still raising money, so I don't have to worry about um, Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, like, but the cool thing too is like, you got this roadmap for free, which they I usually charge like three hundred bucks for. Oh, that's awesome! I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you can take it and you can give it to anybody you want. Okay. Um, also, I did a video recording, so you'll have it for later too. Okay. okay. Um, uh, which I was gonna.